Hi everyone and welcome to my Tutorial Tuesday. Before we get started on this beautiful spring ombre design, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you will get notified on all of my future videos. So without further ado, let's get started. I did this design on a live on Facebook and everybody absolutely loved it. So I thought I would do a little tutorial Tuesday to show you properly how it was done. So the first thing I have got is my nail, which is completely bare, as you can see. So if you were doing this on a client, you will have got to that stage where you have prepped and done your enhancement, if they're having an enhancement, and then gone in with your base coats. And then I'm going to use Jungle Jive, which is from the Core Collection, and Pear Drop from the Sherbet Collection. And this is, or these, are two beautiful shades of green and turquoise. So... I'm going to go in with pear drop first of all and I'm going to keep to the left hand side of the nail and bring that all the way down that side and you can see the coverage of this is just stunning. Now you don't need to worry about that central line because we are going to ombre them together. So I'm now going to come down here being very careful not to contaminate my jungle jive brush with pear drop and then pop that back and then I'm going to go in with my ombre brush okay so with my ombre brush it has got um, thicker bristles at the bottom and then feather like bristles at the end all of these products are available over on my website which is www.getnowedbylaurenmcbride.com and make sure you use the cheeky discount Lauren 10 to get yourself a discount at check out. So we're going to be creating a vertical ombre so I'm going to come with my ombre brush from what would be the cuticle and bring that all the way down okay and I'm just merging these two colors together we're not doing this we're just very lightly coming in and ombre that down to the free edge and then ever so slightly taking it over to the right and then bringing it over to the left. That is now going to go into the lamp for a full cure and because this is normal gel polish that is a 30 second cure and while that is in there curing I'm going to get rid of this excess polish that is on my ombre brush just with a clean lint free wipe and just pull that through and now it's nice and clean and ready to go again. So once this has fully cured we are going to do exactly the same again to create uh, more depth of colour and also that's a seamless transition on our ombre so our colors are merging together okay so I'm going to do exactly the same I'm going to go in with my pear drop and bring that down but I'm now going to leave a slight gap okay on that blend zone so I'm now going to go in with my jungle jive and you can see there that I have left a slight gap we're only talking about two mil here in that central blend zone. I'm now going to go in with my clean ombre brush and again bring that down through but I'm going to bring it through to the left over into my pear drop and then without cleaning my brush bring it over to the right into my jungle jive. So what we're now doing is really merging those colours together and I'm going to continue to do that across that blend zone until I am happy with the blend. So I'm using the same side as my brush, I'm not changing my brush over, and I'm going in exactly the same direction. And I'm doing one even stroke right the way from the cuticle line through to the free edge. So we don't want to be doing this, okay? It's a nice even stroke. And by doing that, we create that seamless blend of those two colours. You see there how stunning that blend is? So that is now going to go into the lamp for a full cure, which again is 30 seconds. I'm going to clean off my ombre brush, pop the lid back on so it's nice and clean and ready to go for the next client. Now what we're going to do is go in with our Skinny Mini. So our Skinny Mini is our finest of brushes. This is a new one, so it's a little bit fluffy, hasn't been used yet. 
and I'm going to go in with my Innocence. So Innocence is from the Core Collection and it is the most beautiful white and we're gonna create some super simple daisies. So I'm gonna grab my nail. Now normally I would say to you to load your Skinny Mini nice and evenly so there's no lumps, bumps or bobbles on there because that will transfer into our design. But to create these daisies, I want to create a bobble on the end of my Skinny Mini. So I'm just gonna show you that there. That's a nice round bobble. And what that round bobble is gonna do, it's gonna create the edge of our petal. Okay, so I'm just gonna load up my brush again, create that bobble, and then place it down, push down, and then taper up as we get to what is going to be the center of our daisy. So again, picking up a new bobble each time, but I want to leave a gap between my petals because I'm going to layer them, okay? So it's up to you how many petals your daisy has. I'm just going to, I'm not even gonna bother to count them. I'm just gonna freestyle it, okay? And then I'm gonna come down this edge. Some of my daisies are going to be coming off of the nail. Some of them are gonna be whole on the nail, okay? So as long as you're picking up that bobble each time, and the second your brush starts to get a little bit too overloaded, like it is now, just drag it down through and then pick up a new bobble. So again, push down and pull up. And this is a great way to practice your brush techniques, okay? Because it's all about the pressure. So I'm doing a slightly smaller daisy just here. And that's gonna be a full daisy. And then we're gonna to start to taper it down into that cuticle area. And I want it to sweep round slightly as well. So I'm gonna do a larger one here. So the larger the flower, the larger the bubble. So pull that round. Like so, and we don't need to worry about what is going on in the center of our daisies either because we are going to cover that up and then I'm just going to do a smaller one here just continue that taper round and while we're doing this can we just appreciate how beautiful those two colors go together absolutely stunning okay so that's going to go into the lamp because this is a normal gel polish and not a gel paint it is a 30 second cure in an LED lamp. So we are gonna do exactly the same again, but create a second layer of petals. And also while I'm here, I am gonna create some little leaves as well. So I'm gonna do that by using our pear drop, and I'm just gonna lighten it ever so slightly. So to mix my colors, ooh, to mix my colors, I'm gonna use a silicone tool because then there is no wastage of product into your brush, okay? So I'm just creating a really beautiful soft green here. And then we're gonna create our second layer of petals, which is gonna go into the gaps, which is why I left the gap. So again, create your bobble, push down, pull up. Now you do need to work quite quickly with this because you don't want it to start to bleed out, okay? So remember that this is gel polish and not gel paint. Now you could use gel paint, but I don't want it to stand too proud. I want it to stay nice and flat, even though we do want to create depth. If your client doesn't mind texture on their nail, then you could 100% go in with your gel paint and do it that way. So working near the side walls, so again, you need to be sure to steer clear of the side walls and be super careful not to overexpose your client to any product. So all I'm doing is filling in these gaps, picking up a new bobble each time, and don't worry about that central part of our flowers because we are going to be going in 
and hiding all of that. And then on our last little daisy just here, you can see how quick and simple this is. Once you've got your pressure right and the load on your brush correct, this is a super quick but looks really intricate as a design. So that's going to go into the lamp again for a full cure. And then we're going to create some little leaves. So with my silicone tool, I'm just going to scooch this up just to create a pool of product. And then we're going to create our leaves in exactly the same way as we created our petals. We're just going to have a little bit more movement in it. So it's going to be a push down, bring round, pick up rather than a push down, pull up. Makes sense? Makes sense to me. You'll know what I mean when you go to do it. Okay, so this has now fully cured and I'm going to pick up a bobble and my leaves are just going to be placed randomly. So I'm going to pop one in here and you can see how I've just swept that round to create that leaf shape, okay? So push down, sweep round, pull up. Push down, sweep round, pull up. It's really satisfying. Once you get to know your brush, and my goodness, the Skinny Mini, is the, it, it's your best friend. You, this is the brush you want to take out to the pub. Bring that round, and that one round, and then it's very easy to overdo it, but don't overdo it. Then I'm going to pop a little bit of Lemon Fizz down. So Lemon Fizz is from the Sherbet Collection, like Pear Drop, and it is the most beautiful soft yellow, okay? We are gonna create the center of our flowers. So I want a medium to large dotting tool, and I'm gonna pick up my yellow and just pop it right in the center, like so. Beautiful design for spring. Stunningly soft, but still nice and bright. Just what I love about it. And if you need a slightly bigger dot, just give it a little bit of a swish. You could use a larger dotting tool, but that means changing over. And I'm here now, so I might as well use the one I've got in my hand. And now I'm gonna use my smallest dotting tool, and this has got almost like a point to it. And I'm just going to add a few little white flecks, almost like blossom, into the design, okay? So just filling in any obvious negative space, like so, ranging in different sizes as well, they can you know, be larger or smaller and all different. Okay, so that is now going to go into the lamp for a full cure, which is 30 seconds because all of this is normal gel polish. And then once we have done that, I'm going to go in with my shiny top coat because I want to show off that depth that we've created by that double layer of petals. If we were to use a mat, it would knock that depth back. So I'm going to go in with I'd Rather Be Shiny, which is our beautiful no wipe top coat, okay? So once this has fully cured, we will be able to go in and do that. But while we're here, I'm just going to run through the products that I have used today. So to create that beautiful ombre, I used Pear Drop from the Sherbet Collection and Jungle Jive from the Core Collection. And then we mixed a little bit of that Pear Drop with our Innocence. And obviously we used Innocence from the Core Collection to create the main petals of our daisies. And then to create the centers, we used our Lemon Fizz. And of course, we used the Skinny Mini to create this entire design with the help of a few dotting tools, okay? So like I say, all of these are available over on the website, which is www.getnailedbylaurenmcbride.com. So I'm now gonna go in with I'd Rather Be Shiny. And this, look at this design, it is just stunning. And having that ombre 
behind there helps to give it that depth as well um so yeah it's it's just beautiful i love it right i'm gonna grab my top coat now obviously you want to make sure that you are steering a wow clear of the cuticle side walls and also making sure that you cap that free edge all right so just floating this out to fill in all of those nooks and crannies and what you can do if it is a little bit too textured and you want to create that uh, almost like encapsulated feel you can turn your client's hand over so that the gravity will take hold and start to pull that product down and it will self level so that you get that beautiful smooth surface to the nail okay so once you are happy with that i'm just gonna pull that down that way a little bit more there we go so once you're happy that's going to go into the lamp for a full cure and all of our top coats need a full 60 second cure in an led lamp so once that is fully cured we are done and i absolutely love this you can do it with your pinks you can do it with your purples you can do it with your blues you could do it with some sparkle you could do it with glitter oh my days this design with tippy on the background as well would look beautiful and there you have it our beautiful spring design and like i say you could do different colors of your flowers as well it would be absolutely stunning and there you have our spring inspired design set if you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more here's a couple of suggested videos that we think you might enjoy and please don't forget to subscribe i really hope you guys enjoyed watching and i'll see you very very soon